Dear friends, very good evening. Now, dear friends, welcome, welcome to the ACE Online. ACE Online, it is powered by the ACE Engineering Academy. ACE Engineering Academy. <coughs> okay, dear friends. Now, okay, coming to myself, I am Nyaneshwar. Now, I am Nyaneshwar, dear. Yes, the subject name is called as a control system. Now, today we are going to discuss the control system, one of the important topic here. Okay, dear friends, now, okay, nice. Now, important topic for gate, control system. It is uh, applicable for all branches, EC, electrical instrumentation. Now, we know, dear, we know. Yes, control system. First of all, what is the syllabus? Nicely, this is the syllabus of the control system, dear. Yes, this is the syllabus. These are the chapters in the broadly. We can classify the control system. Chapter 1 to chapter 10, dear. Now, today, what topic we are going to discuss? Today, now we are going to discuss one of the chapter I am selecting, one of the chapter, that chapter you can observe. What is the chapter name here? Yes, dear friends, one of the beautiful topic, one of the beautiful topic, root locus, dear. Yes, one of the beautiful topic is here. That topic is called as a root locus here. Wow, nice here. Now, root locus. Yes, super. Now, in the root locus, first, what I am going to discuss in the root locus? Root locus is almost an 8 hours topic. In the 8 hours, what topic I am going to, in this chapter, what topics we are going to discuss. Introduction about the root locus. In the introduction about the root locus, dear. Okay, first, what is the definition of the root locus? Definition of the root locus. Next, here, observe here, uh, definition of the root locus here. Now, okay, fine. Now, first one, purpose. What is the purpose of the root locus? In control system, anything if you want, Anything in the control system, dear. The purpose to find the stability. Now observe, dear. Okay, to find the system stability. Root locus is for stability, dear. To find the stability. Now, second one, to find the range of K values for closed loop system stability. That is a conditional system stability. This is called as a conditional stability. Now, next one, dear, to find the relative stability. Okay, now, yes, in the time domain analysis, RH method is the best for the absolute stability. Where about the, okay, this root locus is best for the relative stability, in the time domain method. In time domain method, there are two methods are there in the time domain to find the stability. One is Rautherwitz, second one is root locus. A root locus is the best for the absolute stability. Where about the root locus, okay, sorry. A RH method is the best for the absolute stability. Rautherwitz is the best for the absolute stability. Where about root locus is best for the relative stability. Okay, nice dear. Now it is uh, developed by the W R Evans root locus. Okay, nice. Now, okay dear, uh, later. What is the meaning of the root locus? Root means what? Root means characteristic equation. Root means, here root means characteristic equation. Now that is nothing but, which are nothing but closed loop poles. What is the characteristic equation here? Here, observe. Hello dear, what is the characteristic equation? If you want, closed loop trans function, if you, okay, what is a closed loop trans function here? G of s upon 1 plus G of s h of s. This a denominator part is called as a characteristic equation. Denominator part is called as a characteristic equation. Okay, denominator part is also called as a poles. Closed loop poles are characteristic equation, okay. Which are nothing but, root means are, which are nothing but closed loop poles here. Okay, root means which are nothing but closed loop poles. Now, what is the meaning of the locus? Locus means we'll observe now. Yes, locus means path. Locus means path. The meaning of the locus, the locus means path, dear. The locus means path here. Okay, that is the meaning of the locus. So, combined root locus means what? Now, uh, observe, root locus means definition here. Both combined, now sentence. Yes, dear, root locus means closed loop poles path by varying k from 0 to infinity. K is nothing but system gain, dear. K is nothing but what? System parameter or system gain. K is nothing but system gain or system parameter by variation of 0 to infinity. If system gain, I am changing 0 to infinity, so what is the location of the pole? Observe that locus. That is called as a root locus. If you change the K value, then observe the okay, movement of the poles here, the path you can observe. That is called as a root locus, dear. Now there is a definition. Root locus means closed loop poles path by varying k from 0 to infinity. Nice. Definition. Yeah. 
first to draw the root locus, we require the rules here. Construction rules of root locus. Wow, nice. Construction rules of root locus. So what are the construction rules of the root locus here? First to, to draw the root locus, construction rules of root locus we required. So mainly uh, to draw the root locus, what are the main rules are required here? Observe. First one, asymptotes. Okay, what is asymptote? We'll discuss shortly. Number of asymptotes also required. Then break point. What is a break point? Why it is required? What is the procedure to find the break point? All we'll discuss. Intersection point with imaginary axis. IP means intersection point with imaginary axis. For complex conjugate poles, we required angle of departure. For complex conjugate zeros, we required angle of arrival dear. Angle of arrival dear. Okay, these rules are required. Dear students, in the gate examination point of view, gate examination point of view, what questions are they asking? Okay. Now, this break point here, this break point is for two marks here. Okay. Now, this angle of departure is for two marks. Angle of arrival directly for two marks here. Not one mark question also. Intersection point with imaginary, mainly, okay, is asking mainly in the gate and it is also two marks question. Gate as well as IES also, mainly concentrating in the IES, ESE. This topic is um, okay, uh, asking many, okay, many times in the ESE also. Intersection point with imaginary axis. Both point of view, both gate and uh, ESE also important. But this topic is uh, repeating many times in the ESE. Yes. Yeah. Each single, single rules itself two marks, dear. Single, single rule itself two, two marks. Now, okay, first before moving to this rules, we should know the asymptote all this one. And uh, here... We need to know the some more rules are there. Uh, one mark point of view, one mark point of view, angle of asymptotes, centroid, okay, uh, number of asymptotes. These three are one mark question here. One marks point of view, one mark point of view. Okay, now dear, these are the two marks point of view. Based upon the time, today I am going to select, okay, up to break point. If the based upon the time, after discussing all this one, up to here we will discuss today. Okay, first, one by one we will discuss neatly. What is the one by one? Now, okay. We are discussing construction rules of root locus. Construction rules of root locus, no? Yes, under this one. First two. Yes, rule. Number of root locus branches. How many number of root locus branches exist here? First one. So for that, for me, x-axis, x, y-axis is required. Okay, dear. This is x-axis, x, y-axis. Now here, observe here. I am selecting. Hello, dear. For better understanding point of view, this is a pole, dear. At s equal to 0, I am selecting pole. At s equal to, okay, here, I am selecting 0. At s equal to here minus 2, I am selecting pole dear. At s equal to minus 3, there exists 0 dear. Okay, neatly I am going to explain the root locus here. At s equal to minus 4, there exists a uh, pole dear. Suppose there exists a pole. So what is that point here, whether root locus branch exists or not? Now dear friends, now, 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 now. Here, this is imaginary axis dear. This is explain imaginary axis. A point is on the root locus branch. If a selected point this side, a point is on the root locus towards the imaginary side, towards the right hand up side, right hand side. Number of poles and zero should be odd number. So here I am writing odd number. So here if you select any point this side, number of poles and zeros are odd number. So dear it is on the root locus dear. I am writing R elements root locus. <coughs> select any point this side from here. 1, 2, number of poles and zeros are even number. So this section is not a root locus branch here. From here to here, not a root locus branch. Select any point toward this side, toward this side here. So number of poles and zeros are how many? 1, 2, 3. So this is on the root locus branch here. This is on the root locus branch. Now, okay, any point select this side. So number of poles and zeros are 1, 2, 3, 4. Towards right hand side, it is not a, not a root locus branch here. Now from here onwards, from here onwards towards the imaginary axis side, number of poles and zeros are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, odd number. Dear students, it is on the root locus branch. So completely it is on the root locus branch, dear. Now here SE code minus infinity. This is SE code minus infinity. So completely what is the concept here? Odd number concept, dear. Odd number. So number of poles and zeros towards the right hand side, right of explain should be odd number. So that point I'm writing here. That point I'm writing. Wow, super. A point exists here. Observe. A point exists on real axis root locus branches. On real axis root locus branches. 
RL. I written root locus means RL branches. If the sum of poles and zeros to the right hand side of that point should be odd number dear. Very important, odd number. Odd number. Okay, nice dear. This is the odd number here. So, okay, okay, now, yeah. It should be odd number dear. Nice. Now, odd number. Why? Because there is a uh, story, okay, for this one, concept is should satisfy the uh, angle condition, okay, no? now, okay, fine, uh, root locus branch, now happy. And one thing here, uh, what is the one more point? In the root locus, every pole must reach the zero. In root locus, in root locus, uh, every pole, every pole, must terminate at zero, must terminate at zero dear, must terminate at zero, at zero. So, the pole is here, zero is here, must terminate means pole direction like this dear. Now, your pole is there, zero is there, must reach this side here. Now my question, for this pole, zero, this side zero is not available. This set 0 is available, but this is a not a root locus branch. This is not a root locus branch. Always poles travel on the root locus branches only, dear. Always poles travel on the root locus branches only. Okay, that is the reason why this pole must reach this side. But you may ask the question, sir, this side there is no 0 now. There is no 0 now. We need to assume there exists 0 at s equal to infinity. We need to assume there exists 0 at s equal to infinity in this concept. So dear, what is the one more point I'm writing? We need to assume dear, we need to assume there exists 0 to s equal to infinity. So I'm writing, okay, assume there exists 0 to s equal to infinity. Assume, okay, uh, there exists 0, there exists a 0 at s equal to infinity, at s equal to infinity. So plus infinity or minus infinity, both are same only. So there exists infinity is the first of all, okay. Infinity value plus infinity or minus infinity, there exists zero. We need to assume. Okay, dear. That is the assumption. So assume, dear. Every pole terminates the zero. Every pole terminates the zero. Happy. This is about the... Now you may ask the question. Sir, how many number of root locus branches required? Number of root locus branches, dear. Here I am asking, how many number of root locus branches here? Let. Simple, uh, the concept background story, okay, the simple concept here, number of root locus branches. Allowed here, here how many number of poles here? In this, uh, okay, here, number of poles, how many here? Number of poles equal to count 1, 2, 3. Number of poles are 3 here. How many number of zeros, physical zeros only? 1, 2. Number of zeros are 2 here. How many root locus branches we are getting? How many root locus branches? This is one root locus branch. 2 root locus branch, 3 root locus branch. So number of root locus branches, how many do you have? 3. 3 means poles only. But here observe, here P greater than Z. P greater than Z means what? Number of poles not greater than number of zeros. Then number of root locus branches equal to number of poles itself only, which is the maximum number, that number equal. Number of root locus branches, number of root locus branches means this is not a root locus branch. This is not a root locus branch. How many number of root locus branches depends upon the number of poles and zeros? Number of root locus branches equal to which is the out of pole and zero, which is the maximum number, that equality. So that point I'm writing here, that point I'm writing here. Okay, find here. Yes, number of root locus branches, number of root locus branches here. So what I'm writing here, if P greater than Z, if P greater than Z, if P greater than Z, number of poles greater than 0, then number of root locus branches, number of RL means root locus branches equal to, dear students, P only. Many times the questions were asked in the prelims paper. Uh, if P less than Z, dear, if P less than Z, if P less than Z, number of root locus branches equal to Z only, dear. Which is the greater value that equality? You may ask the question, hello sir, if both are equal, what to do? If both are equal means what to do, sir? Okay, if both are equal means out of pole and zero, which is a maximum, okay, which, uh, okay, either pole or zero, dear. Now I'll check, okay, 
mean well dear uh, parallelly i have to check the uh, what are the comment section all this one yes in between if you have any doubts also you can ask me dear okay in between if you have any doubts also you can ask me dear okay fine fine now okay nice i'll check meanwhile <coughs> yes yeah dear okay fine uh, yes shankar your favorite topic very good okay dear yes nice uh, okay let us uh, parallel check the chart also why because uh, whether or anything problem technically audio video if p equal to z then means either you can equal to p or z okay na no? not p plus z not p plus z now this is a number of root locus branches dear wow nice nice okay na no? nice now dear okay fine uh, what i can write here yes uh, if p greater than z next two we'll move to the uh, that is uh, about the rule one dear rule two first of all what is the necessity of moving to the rule two dear what is the necessity of moving to the rule two dear wow super what is the necessity of moving to the rule two first once again hello dear in the speed mode in the speed mode dear uh, once again i'm writing previously what is the previous example here uh, this is a pole dear this is a zero dear this is a pole dear uh, previously i took this is zero dear this is zero na correct na yes dear now come on yes yes meanwhile you have to respond here uh, zero this is a pole dear hello dear this is a root locus branch no doubt a uh, root locus branch this is not a root locus branch okay not a root locus branch nrl not a root locus branch this is a root locus branch now this is a not a root locus branch not a root locus branch this is a root locus branch now root locus branch okay happy now at s equal to minus infinity there exists zero at s equal to minus infinity there exists zero so happily this pole reaches this zero oh, super now this pole reaches this zero okay na now my question uh, either this pole reaches this zero but the thing is if the question is if it is not zero dear if it is not zero the case is both are pole dear if the both are pole here now my question this pole moving this side is not possible why because not a root locus branch this pole moving this side is not possible not a root locus branch now tell me how these two poles will meet the zeros no not possible on the real axis there is a possibility on the imaginary axis imaginary axis means who will show that imaginary axis zeros who will show that imaginary axis zeros here that is nothing bad that is nothing bad okay these these fellows will show the address of that zeros dear that two person will show the address of zeros dear at a c code infinity up to infinity there okay okay uh, zero exist s equal to infinity zero exist one of the pole will reach that zero one of the pole will reach this zero now okay these two poles don't know the address of that zero so they are taking the support of this two this uh, this his name is called as a these names are called as a what na asymptotes dear these names are called as a asymptotes dear what is asymptote definition now this is nothing but asymptote dear yeah fine uh, that name is called as asymptotes dear asymptotes what is asymptote dear asymptotes are nothing but root locus branches dear asymptotes are nothing but root locus branches they starts on real axis approaches to the infinity once more asymptotes are root locus branches they start on real axis and approaches to the infinity that is called as asymptote same similarly rule two here we will discuss what is asymptotes dear wow nice now asymptote dear asymptotes are root locus branches which starts on real axis and approaches to infinity dear which approaches to the infinity okay nice so how many number of asymptotes are required number of asymptotes are required okay fine now let we will discuss number of asymptotes here how many asymptotes are required here now we will discuss number of asymptotes equal to number of asymptotes equal to yes that formula equal to number of asymptotes equal to dear friends n equal to p minus z dear the formula for number of asymptotes how many number of asymptotes required now i am keeping in the box dear i am keeping in the box here wow nice number of asymptotes equal to p minus z now dear what is the p equal to p equal to number of poles p equal to number of poles z equal to number of zeros 
जेड इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ जीरोस जेड इक्वल नंबर ऑफ जीरोस पी को नंबर ऑफ पोल्स जेड इक्वल नंबर ऑफ जीरोस डियर ओके नाइस सुपर now okay p code poles z code zero steer now okay whether it is applicable or not whether uh, once again i am moving to the back once again i am moving to the back there yeah here how many asymptotes are required first thing how many first thing uh, dear friends here how many poles here in this question number of poles equal to count 1 2 3 4 number of poles are 4 how many number of physical zeros are there don't count the ओके इनफिनिट जीरो अज्यूम्ड जीरो फिजिकल जीरो जेड इक्वल वन इयर सो ऑम इन नंबर ऑफ रूट लोकस ब्रांचेस टेल मी कमा टेल मी नंबर ऑफ रूट लोकस ब्रांचेस इक्वल टू रूट लोकस ब्रांचेस शुड बी व्हिच इज ग्रेटर इयर व्हिच इज ग्रेटर इयर व्हिच इज ग्रेटर इयर पी ग्रेटर देन जेड ना पी ग्रेटर देन जेड मींस दैट नंबर ऑफ रूट लोकस ब्रांचेस इक्वल टू पी शुड बी 4 वेदर 4 आर देयर आर नॉट वन रूट लोकस ब्रांच वन रूट लोकस ब्रांच इयर कंप्लीटली दिस साइड 1 2 3 8 नंबर This is the second root locus branch, completely from here to here. Okay, this is the third root locus branch. Total number of root locus branches are okay. How many? Come on, tell me. One root locus branch. Here two. Now let us let us. Now total number of root locus branches will observe first. We'll observe the number of root locus branches first easily one by one. This is a one root locus branch. This is the second root locus branches. Okay. Now just now we were discussing now what is asymptote here. Asymptote is nothing but root locus branch only. This is a one more root locus branch. One more root locus branch. Root locus branch three. This is a one more root locus branch. Root locus branch four. So root locus branch four here. Just now we were discussing now what is asymptote now. Once again observe asymptote here. What is asymptote? Asymptotes are nothing but root locus branches here. Asymptotes are nothing but root locus branches. So asymptotes are nothing but here uh, root locus branches here. Here observe. So one root locus branch. Second root locus branch, third root locus branch, fourth root locus branch. So number of root locus branches are four here. How many asymptotes are here? How many asymptotes are here? Come on, tell me. Number of asymptotes should be n equal to number of asymptotes equal to number of asymptotes should be asymptotes should be n equal to p minus z. P minus z means what here? Come on, tell me. P minus z do four minus one equal to three. Whether three asymptotes are required? Okay. What is asymptotes? Which is approaching to the infinity. Now observe, uh, which are approaching to the infinity. Yes, which are approaching to the infinity. Which are approaching to the infinity. What are the asymptotes? Which are approaching to the infinity. How many branches are approaching to infinity here? How many branches are approaching to infinity here? Yes, this one. Okay, this approaching to infinity. So this asymptote one, asymptote one. This also moving to the infinity. Asymptote two, and here. This pole is moving to the finite distance or infinite distance. Okay, this on the real axis also this is asymptote three here. So number of asymptotes are three here. Number of root locus branches four. Number of asymptotes are three. This is a one two. But this is not a okay asymptote here. Why? Because this pole is traveling the finite distance here. Finite distance. This is not asymptote. One asymptote, second asymptote, third asymptote here. Nice. So number of asymptotes equal to three. One one more question here. One more mark. One one more questions here. Okay, number of root locus branches, number of asymptotes here. Okay, that is called as a rule two here. That is called as a rule two. Okay, rule two. Okay, nice. Number of asymptotes here. Number of asymptotes p minus z. Super. This is about the rule two here. Next, we will move to the rule three here. What is the rule three? Why rule three first? Okay, why rule three? So first, before moving to that one. Now, okay, nice. Why root three is required? Yes. In between, if you have any doubts, also uh, I am going to. Yes. Meanwhile, you can. <coughs> yes, dear. Meanwhile, you can ask any doubts also, dear. Okay, fine. Now, uh, what is a? Yes, dear. Uh, what is a rule three? What is the necessity of rule three? Your simple logic. Student may ask the one question. What is the question now? Now I am erasing all this one. A student may ask one simple question. Uh, what is the question here? Okay, nice. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Let us either observe here. Observe here. Now, what is the question here? Uh, 
sir, these two poles are not going to meet the zeros on the real axis. They are moving towards the uh, imaginary axis zero. But what is the reason you are moving only like this? Why can't move like this? Student may ask the question. Why can't move like this? Why can't move like this? Why? Because here also infinity is there. Here also zero exists. Here also infinity zero exists. Why? Because at zero, this is assumed zero here. Assumed zero. Why only moving like blue color? Why can't like this? Why can't like this? So to avoid all this one, to avoid all this one, we required, we required how much this blue color making the angle here? How much it is making the angle here? So we need to find the angle of asymptote. So it is our duty to find the angle of asymptote here. So that we can avoid, suppose the angle of asymptote is 60 degrees or 45 degrees means so this is 90 degrees, we can avoid all this one here. To avoid, otherwise assume zero, now students may take like this, like this, like this. So to avoid this one, we require the angle of asymptote. That is called as a rule 3 dear. That is a rule 3 dear. That is a rule 3. Yes. Yes. Angle of asymptotes dear. Angle of asymptotes. Okay, nice. What is the angle of asymptotes dear? Angle of asymptotes equal to. So angle of asymptote is indicated with the theta. That formula dear 2q plus 1 upon p minus z dear. 2q plus 1 by p minus z. Product of 180 degrees dear. Product of 180 degrees. Wow, nice. Hello dear. Here what is the q all this one? Now, okay. Now dear, here q equal to, here q equal to, start with 0. Many students commit the mistake. They start from 1 only dear, but wrong. q always start from 0, 1, 2 and so on up to n minus 1. Many people write up to n only. They start 1 and end it. In, no, no, wrong. Here, okay, where, where dear, now where, what is n equal to? n equal to number of poles minus number of zeros. N equal to number of poles minus number of zeros. Okay, where, where. Now, where uh, n equal to number of poles minus number of zeros here. Super. Theta equal to 2q plus 1 by p minus z 180 degrees. Now, q equal to 0, 1, 2 up to n minus 1, where n equal to p minus z. This is a, okay, we can find the angle of asymptote here. Nice. We can find the angle of asymptotes. Next to here, okay, angle of asymptotes. But one important point about the angle of asymptotes. Now here, observe angle of asymptotes, dear, uh, let us. If one is 60 degrees means other one should be minus 60 degrees, dear. One is 60 degrees means other one should be minus 60 degrees. So angle of asymptotes always symmetrical with respect to real axis, dear. So what is the point I am writing? Angle of asymptotes are symmetrical with respect to real axis, dear. So I am writing that point here. <coughs> asymptotes are symmetrical with respect to real axis, dear. So very important here. Asymptotes are symmetrical with respect to real axis. So asymptotes are, so one point about asymptotes here, asymptotes are symmetrical with respect to real axis. Symmetrical with respect to real axis here. Symmetrical with respect to real axis. Okay, nice. Now why rule 4 is required? Rule 3 is angle of asymptote. Now why rule 4 is required means so, now from rule 3 we got it angle of asymptotes. Students are talented. What they will take? No, no sir. Uh, now students will take like this. I'll take 60 minus 60 only. Students will take uh, 60 minus 60. 60 minus 60. 60 minus 60. Many possibilities are there. What is the reason you are selecting blue color? This is a problem happens. To avoid this controversy, we are moving to the rule 4. What is the rule 4 not here? This blue color, this one, this first blue color, this second blue color, where they are meeting on the real axis. That person is uh, north, this person is south. Where they are meeting, where they are meeting is a middle point. So meeting point of this asymptote, this asymptote at the central is called as a centroid here. Centroid is required. Centroid, meeting point of asymptotes on the real axis. Now that rule we will discuss, okay, that rule we will discuss here. Okay, meeting point of asymptotes, okay. Now rule 4 here, okay, already I have discussed here. Yes, centroid. What is the centroid here? Centroid is nothing but what not here? Uh, centroid is nothing but meeting point of, centroid is nothing but, centroid is meeting point of asymptotes, meeting point of asymptotes, meeting point of asymptotes on real axis meeting point of asymptotes on real axis 
on real axis here. Meeting point of asymptotes on real axis. Hello dear, hello sir, you may ask the question how to find the centroid here. Centroid will indicate actually sigma symbol. All, uh, sigma, centroid equal to sigma equal to sum of poles minus sum of zeros sum of poles minus sum of zeros upon number of poles number of poles minus number of zeros number of zeros here yes this is a centroid formula here to find the centroid we required okay or we need to find like this here centroid sum of poles minus sum of zeros or we can also write this one same thing here dear no, 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 simple formula, sum of poles minus sum of zeros upon number of poles minus number of zeros, dear. Yes, one more point of view, gate question, one more point of view, examiner is going to provide the, now trans function from that one is going to ask the centroid here, it is a one more question, one more question, now shortly we will calculate, how, okay, what is the gate examination question. So, this is a centroid here, centroid, <laughs> once observe everyone, yes. Meanwhile, if you have any doubts also, you can ask me here. Yes, yes, very good. Yes, any doubts also, you can ask me here. Now, okay, nice. Now, okay. This is about the centroid here. Okay, centroid. Uh, now, let us find the one numerical here. One numerical about, yes. Now find the angle of asymptotes and centroid for the given question here. Find the angle of asymptotes and centroid for the given question here. Now, okay, how to calculate here? How to calculate here first thing? Now, here dear students, now first step dear, first step, step number one. Step number one. Step number one dear. What are the poles? What are the zeros dear? Come on, respond. What are the poles here? What are the zeros dear? Any zeros are there in the numerator? No zeros, dear. No means to count how many number of zeros here? Zero. Come on, respond. What are the poles, dear? What are the poles here? At origin, there is a pole existing. At origin, there is a pole existing. At minus 5, there is a pole existing. At minus 10, also pole existing. Number of poles, how many, dear? Three. Number of poles are three. Yes, come on, help me. Yes, dear friends. Step number two here, number of asymptotes equal to, number of asymptotes formula P minus Z here. Number of asymptotes means how many number of root locus branches are approaching to the infinity. So P minus Z here, 3 minus 0, number of root locus branches which are approaching to the infinity equal to 3 here. Now then, later here, uh, now uh, step number three, angle of asymptote here, angle of asymptotes. So, angle of asymptote we need to calculate. So, here space is not sufficient. I am moving to the next page here. What is the formula for angle of asymptote here? Come on, tell me. 2q plus 1 upon p minus z. p minus z product of, product of 180 degrees here. 180 degrees. But here the question is, what is the q value? How many value you have to substitute? Start with 0, 1. Hello, dear, where should we stop boundary limit? n minus 1, what is n value here? Here n equal to p minus z, n equal to how much? 3. So, where should we start n minus 1? n minus 1 means n equal to 3, 3 minus 1, 2, correct only. Now, dear friends, come on, tell me for q equal to, for q equal to 0, substitute for q equal to 0, dear, q equal to 0, 180 degrees, p, 3 minus 0, 3. So, first angle of asymptote, you are getting 60 degrees, dear. Next, second one, dear, second one, come on. Yes, for q equal to 1, dear, for q equal to 1. Hello, dear, uh, q equal to 1 means 2 plus 1, 3, 3 upon 3, dear. Product of 180 degrees. 3, 3 cancel, that is nothing but 180 degrees, dear. Now, okay, dear, next to, uh, for q equal to, for q equal to 2, dear, for q equal to, 2 product of 2, 4 plus 1, how much come on, tell me, 5. 5 product of 3, okay, 180 degrees, dear. Now, we will get 300 degrees, dear, 300 degrees. 
These are the angle of asymptotes, dear. These are the angle of asymptotes. Now, okay, still, okay, I am providing the chance. Yes, meanwhile, if you want to ask anything, you can also ask me doubts. Okay, post, okay, uh, yes. Yes, in meanwhile, if you want to ask anything, you can ask, dear. In between, if you have any doubts. Okay, very good, students. No one is, okay, all are, okay. Yeah, but the thing is, angle of asymptote here, this is a question, dear, for this question. What is n equal to 3? One simple logic will avoid the calculations. Sir, every time to do all this one time waste in the gate exam. Every time do all this one to remember the formula time waste. Hello dear, angle of asymptote never depends upon the question. The logic here, angle of asymptotes never depends upon the question dear. Angle of asymptotes depends upon the n value. Even 1 lakh questions, even 1 lakh questions, different different questions. For all questions, n equal to 3 means Angle of asymptotes same only dear. Angle of asymptotes are not going to change. Angle of asymptotes are not going to change here. 60, 180, 300 only. So, this angle of asymptote depends upon this n value dear. This n value only. Not the question. Some different question is there. That n value also same 3. Then that angle of asymptote also 60, 180, 300. So, based upon this one, there is a small technique is there. Yes dear. Shortcut here. Uh, what is the table here? Yes. Hello dear, suppose uh, let us n equal to, here I am writing, now n equal to angle of asymptotes equal to here, n equal to 1 means always same only 180 degrees dear, any question, n equal to 2 means dear, angle of asymptotes are 90 comma 270 dear, nice, n equal to 3 means simple logic, what are the irrespective of question, number of asymptotes equal, so the angle of asymptotes are 60, 180, 300 dear. Nice, 300 degrees dear. If n equal to 4 means the angle of asymptotes are dear, 45 degrees, okay, irrespective of the question, 45 degrees. Now dear, okay, uh, next to 135, 225, okay, 225, 315 degrees. 315 degrees dear, okay, nice. Now I am writing clarity, clearly, clearly. Here 45 is not visible, no? Yes. Yeah, dear. Here 45 degrees, 225 degrees. Okay, na? Now, irrespective of the question here, the number of pens here like this. <laughs> okay, na? It is also one more question here. Okay, now, super. These are, okay, till now, what are the calculations are completed? Come on, tell me for this question. Yes. How to find the angle of asymptotes? Okay, we got it. How to find the angle of asymptotes? We got it. Now, we need to find the centroid also, na, dear. Centroid also, no? Yes. Come on, tell me centroid formula, dear. Centroid formula equal to sum of poles minus sum of zeros upon number of poles minus number of zeros. This is centroid formula, dear. Okay, meanwhile, uh, yes, centroid formula also, dear. Centroid formula. Now, please tell me what are the poles, dear. What are the poles? Come on, go back. Yes. What are the poles, dear? Sum of 0 plus minus 5. This sum, dear. 0 plus minus 5 plus minus 10. No zeros. So I am adding. So that is nothing but, hello dear, now sigma i equal to 0 plus minus 5 plus minus 10. Now minus sum of zeros, no zeros, upon number of poles minus number of zeros. So what is the centroid here? What is the centroid equal to? Centroid equal to minus 5 equal to. Okay, centroid equal to minus 5 here. Centroid equal to minus 5. Super. Centroid equal to minus 5. So for this question, okay, one more point of view. You may ask the angle of asymptotes, dear. Without touching any paper, number of poles are 3, no zeros, n equal to 3. Whenever n equal to 3 means angle of asymptotes are 60, 180, 300. So for find the centroid equal to, these are the one one mark question, dear, one one mark question here. Centroid equal to, what is the answer we got? It's centroid equal to, hello, dear, minus 5, dear. Centroid we got minus 5 dear. <laughs> okay, very good. Centroid is minus 5. Next dear, after centroid, okay. Uh, till now we were discussed nicely about the rule 4. Now, what are the rules completed till now? Yes, asymptotes rule completed. Angle of asymptote is completed. Centroid is completed here. Now, we need to discuss one more rule. Okay, we have the, okay. We need to discuss one more rule also dear. One more rule also. So, what is that rule? Why that rule is required? Yes, what is that rule before that rule? Wow, super. 
before that rule allowed here uh, first once again speed mode till now whatever we were discussing here, just a speed mode this is a pole here this is a zero here this is a pole here this is a one more pole here this is a one more pole here allowed here no 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 this is on the root locus branch so happily reaches not a root locus branch this is a root locus branch this is not a root locus branch this is not a root locus branch here why because number of poles and zeros here 1 2 3 4 but this is a root locus branch so happily this pole reaches the zero at s equal minus infinity the register zero the thing is these two poles are not going to meet the zeros on the real axis so they are moving they are taking the help of asymptotes here they are taking the help of asymptotes asymptote will move like this or like this means angle of asymptote okay the asymptote start here or here here means that is given by the, that is given by the what come under me centroid suppose centroid is here centroid is here now centroid here this is a centroid angle of asymptote suppose 60 this is 60 <coughs> okay this is a minus 60 suppose dear uh, let us this is a 60 degrees this is 60 degrees suppose this is a minus 60 degrees this point is called a centroid here this point is called a centroid okay nice that point is called a centroid here okay nice now this is centroid now my question it's centroid here it's centroid uh, what is exist here uh, all are moving at infinity at a c code infinity there exists a zero at a c code infinity there exists a zero at a c code infinity there exists a zero these two poles must reach that zero here these two poles must reach the zero how they are reaching here these two poles never travel on the asymptote here they take the support only but this two port never travel on the asymptote almost till from 40 minutes onwards we are discussing what is the chapter here root locus na? now we will get the root locus right now only so from here onwards here by here one pole is coming moving 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 this pole also coming 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 like this now one okay they break the relation with the real axis they break the relation with the real axis here they travel parallel to the asymptote here and reaches the zero okay break the relation with the real axis they travel parallel to the asymptote okay they enter in okay they reach the zero here so at this particular point one is moving up here one is moving up here one is moving down here one is moving down here yes now if they observe a lot here at this particular point, at this particular point, two up to this particular point, poles are traveling in the real axis. From here onwards, one is up, one is down. So from here onwards, they are breaking the relation with real axis. So that point is called as a break point here. They are moving away from the real axis means break away point. Break point or break away point here. Break point. Okay, the point at which the poles are breaking the relation with real axis is called as a break away point whenever the now the poles are entering into the real axis is called as a break in point here so that rule is called as a okay break point here wow super break point this rule is called as a break point here the point at which roots breaks the relation with the real axis is called as a break point now break point again two types here break point is allowed here there are two types of break points here now break point is nothing but two types here break away point break in point here so I am writing this is called as a break away point here. One is break away point. One is break away point here. Break away point BAP. One is break in point here. Break in point. Break away point. One is break in point. Now okay dear. This is nothing but when we calculate away from real axis dear. Away from real axis away from real axis now this is a towards real axis towards real axis here towards real axis okay super break away break in point here break away break in point now when will you get the break away point when will you get the break in point here when will you get the break away when will you get the break in point here observed here suppose this is a situation here this is a situation here if the situation is like this when will get the breakaway point when will get the break in point now first thing there are two poles here there are two poles obviously it is on the root locus branch correct now it is on the root locus branch only this is on the root locus branch only 
okay uh, if the poles are placed adjacently if the poles are placed adjacently and here root locus branch then there are some zeros are there yes now dear these two poles must move away from the real axis na they must move away from the real axis na so here break away point exists this is called as a break away point here when the poles are like this then we will get the break away point no no dear if zeros are located like this if zeros are located in between root locus branches there then that enter poles are going to enter here here suppose poles are here so both are entering why because pole must reach the zero na after reaching okay this point is called it here break in point here break in point hello dear break in point when we get the break of a point when poles are okay adjacently placed and in between the if the exist root locus branch then there is a chance of getting break away point then you will get the break away point if the zeros are placed adjacently then if it is on the root locus branch then we will get the break in point here break in point so how to find the break away point break in point same procedure here to find the break away point break in point procedure is same only here procedure is same only okay na same procedure only by using same procedure we can find the break away point break in point this is a two mark question here this is a two marks question okay na two mark question now i'll provide the procedure to find the break away point break in point yes procedure to find the break away point okay fine hello dear first step now step number 1 dear step number 1 yeah form the characteristic equation dear form the characteristic equation see i am writing simply characteristic equation second step dear second step we need to differentiate the that characteristic equation term okay now separate rearrange the characteristic equation rearrange above characteristic equation above as above characteristic equation above characteristic equation as some system parameter you have to separate and s terms is one side here system parameter one side s terms are one side then we need to differentiate here okay step number 3 we need to differentiate here differentiate that k with respect to s differentiate k with respect to s dear k with respect to s k with respect to s dear okay nice now after differentiation what will get dk by ds na dear dk by ds na step number 4 dear step number 4 a uh, dk by ds roots of dk by ds equal to 0 gives valid comma invalid break points dear valid comma many time the question was asked on the break point invalid break points dear now what is a valid break point dear valid break point compels on the root locus branch valid break point must be on the root locus branch must be on root locus branch dear must be on the root locus branch okay dear valid break point must be on the root locus branch okay super nice now okay dear uh, once uh, once again go back uh, what is the rule here now this point is called as a rule find dear now we have one more rule also interesting in point with imagery why that rule is required means so i am going to explain here okay based upon the time constraint now yes i am going to explain what is the rule these two poles are moving and uh, must reach the parallel na? while moving dear whether you observed or not whether you observed or not dear this yellow color is meeting here where the root locus point is meeting with the intersection point okay this intersection point of root locus with the what axis comma tell me imaginary axis dear so we need to find that is the sixth rule dear intersection point with the intersection point of root locus with the imaginary axis we have to find that one also okay na now these are the rules dear now in order to draw the root locus mainly we have to uh, follow this rules and regulations here okay nice okay based upon the okay time constraint now today we were discussing nicely about yes dear uh, nicely about the uh, first once again we will start uh, up to what topic we are discussed here what is a root locus dear first i have started what is a root locus root locus means so poles path by variation of system gain k from 0 to infinity how the poles are moving observe that path that locus is called as a root locus dear by variation of k system parameter 
for k equal to 0 to infinity. Under this one, how many number of root locus branches in, okay, uh, number of root locus branches, if p greater than z means p, if z greater than p means z, if both are equal means either p or z here. Then number of asymptotes, e code n e code p minus z. What is asymptote means which are approaching to the infinity? Now then angle of asymptotes. I have given the uh, shortcut also. Then centroid, meeting point of two asymptotes on the real axis is called a centroid. One point about the centroid here, centroid, it is always real value. Centroid is always real value. And it may on the root locus branch, may not on the root locus branch. Centroid always real value here. Then after centroid, we were discussed about nicely about the break point. How to find the break point also pressure nicely given. Okay, dear. Uh, now based upon the time constraint, dear. Yes. Now, dear, okay, fine. Uh, either observe. Still, if you have any doubts, okay, whatever I till now we were discussing the topic. Na? Now, in this one, if you get any doubt, dear, if you get any doubt, you can mail me, dear. This is my mail ID. GNEANI412 at the rate of gmail.com, dear. In between. Okay, whatever I okay, we were discussing nicely till now. If you get any doubt, you can mail me here. Now, no, no, sir, I want more videos, sir. More videos means you can search in the yes, you can search here in the YouTube, dear Gyanishwar sir. My name is Gyanishwar. Okay, Gyanishwar sir, control system. Then you will get the different, different topics. Now, different, different questions related. Uh, now, you will get free of cost here. Now, if you want more videos here, you can search this one here. You can search this one. Now, dear, okay, fine. Uh, finally, dear, uh, everything is okay. Now, you know, if you are my old students, means you know very well. Okay, now I will end anything. I'll start and I'll end with one beautiful motivation, dear. So, at the time of attending first day, you'll show the more interest, dear, but maintain the same energy level up to till the reach the goal, dear. Okay, till the reach the goal. Your target is uh, now my target is IIT, sir. I want to join an IIT. Then I want to okay, uh, settle in the top job, top job, okay, some core company. Like that means, you, no, no, I want to go for civil services. Your ambition is to join in IIT. Then your target is something, okay, uh, first day how much energy you are showing till the reach, the goal also show the same interest here. So dear, in the between you will get the so many problems, difficulties, but don't stop the work. So don't stop in the middle, dear. That is the reason why I am providing one beautiful shortcut here, one beautiful, okay, motivation. So dear, don't stop when you are tired, dear. Tired means in between if you face any problems also, don't stop the work. Okay, so okay, now done. When you are done, then only stop there. Don't stop when you are tired, stop when you are done, dear. When you reach your goal, then only stop, dear. Okay, these are myself. Now, this are, I am the listening faculty. Okay, dear. Now, yes, I hope your people will follow my okay, instructions and you will follow and... Uh, you will write the gate exam very well and you will settle in the top, okay, top uh, colleges only, top colleges will do the MTech only. Okay, dear, only blessings from my side. Okay, blessing from my side. All the best, dear. Best of luck. Hello, everyone. My name is Kartike Kaushik and I have secured All India Rank 1 in UPSC Engineering Services Examination 2021 from Civil Engineering Discipline. For prelims preparation, I took online test series from ACE online platform and used to regularly solve their subject-wise test and full-length test. Then for mains preparation, I solved question banks which were given to me as a part of mains postal program from ACE online. And then, last but not the least, for interview preparation, I followed the interview guidance material which was given to me as a part of ACE Online's interview guidance program. I am Vinit Kumar. I have secured All India Rank 1 in Mechanical Engineering in ESC 2021. I have been associated with ACE Engineering. I have taken various programs like LIFE's main classes, Postal Study course, Test Series and Interview Guidance program. So I would like to thank all the faculties of ACE. It has helped me in building my concepts and having my fundamentals cleared. I would also like to highlight that in test series, uh, I have given various mock tests which have helped me in the time of real exam and in interview guidance program, building confidence in the in front of interview panel. It has helped me in my success. 
myself abhishek kumar sharma i have scored all india rank 1 in upsc engineering services examination 2021 in electrical engineering discipline now i divide my preparation strategy into three basic thing the first thing is that you have to complete your syllabus from a basic standard source the second thing is that you have to attempt previous year question the third thing uh, aspirant has to do is to solve as many test series as possible i made two to three pages short notes of each and every subject now two to three pages short notes help in quick revision if you keep working hard you will definitely get success in this examination this is what i followed and i wish all the best for all the future aspirants thank you my name is kuldeep i i have done my btech from ambedkar institute of technology which is situated in delhi and i have secured all india rank 1 uh, in esc 2021 from ent branch i took uh, as postal course mains test series and interview guidance program in esc 2020 and esc 2021